Hi everybody! If you're making your own soft baits and you've made a master like this one, you can't help but wondering if it will have the, the correct and the desired movement in the water. And it would be very nice to know this even before you go ahead and use a lot of time and money on uh, making a silicone mold of it. Today I'll show you how to create a, a quick mold from this material which is molding sand. And with this mold you'll be able to do one cast or maybe two if you're lucky and create a result like this one. It's not perfect but it's more uh, it's very uh, usable for uh, for a testing and I'm sure that you'll even be able to catch some fish with it. So hang in there. Every time I do a master I can't help but wondering if it'll be worth time and effort it takes to um, to create a silicone mold from it. Sometimes the, the, the master never gets further than being a master and it will just uh, get um, put away in some drawer. And other times I'll do a, go ahead and make a, a mold from it. But with the, with the casting stand you are quite able to, to do a, a mold and make a fine cast. A cast that is good enough for you to actually fish with and still at least usable for uh, testing purposes. The casting sand is a funny material. It is, uh, feels a bit like clay, but um, you can shape it in any way you want. And uh, by pressing it uh, hard, it will actually stay in that uh, shape uh, for a while. And after you've been using it, you can just break it apart and it'll go back into this uh, sandy uh, clay-like uh, structure. Well. Please join me in the shed as uh, I'll show you how to um, to do the mold. To begin with, I have made myself a, a, a solid uh, frame here, um, one that can be adjusted in size to um, <clears throat> to fit the 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 master I want to make a mold from, and uh, make sure that there's. Uh, a bit of space uh, all the way around the, the bait or the master and um, I'll just take some clamps and uh, make sure that uh, this stays where it should okay so now I have a solid frame here and um, I'll just um, I'll just grab some uh, casting sand here and start uh, building up my uh, my mold here. And uh, first of all, I'll make a layer at the bottom here that is fairly hard packed. And then the next layer, I will try to uh, leave the middle of the the mold uh, as soft as possible as I would uh, <clears throat> I would want the to be able to push the the master into uh, into the the sand to give it a a perfect uh, imprint in uh, in the sand as that would be what I need to uh, to fill out with the, the silicone later so I'll just Start packing the sides here like this, and then I'll take my master, place it where it should be here, push it down as hard as possible. At this point, I can uh, I can take it up, make sure that the the imprint doesn't have uh, any uh, holes or, uh, or or places where it's uh, it's less uh, uh, hard packed here so so I'll just uh, put this one back and give it another a little extra here didn't look that bad but I'll just and then I'll start packing the the sand around it and I need it to go up uh, halfway up the the master so I might need some extra sand. So 
some of the places here. And I can take a, a piece of wood to uh, help me pack along the sides. And I would, <coughs> sorry, I would like to have a nice uh, even uh, 90 degree um, angle on the sand into the middle of the the bait, as uh, that will give the the best uh, chance of uh, having. Uh, 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 that the that the sides won't uh, collapse into uh, the cavity of the of the master here when I take it out. So I'll just do this. And I have a smaller one for the places where the big one don't fit. Okay, and I'll keep doing this until I'm uh, satisfied that the that the mold is is quite packed and uh, halfway up here. Well, here uh, at the end, I'll just uh, use my finger, as that will even out uh, all edges from the from my piece of wood here. Okay, so now the first half is uh, ready, and uh, to prevent uh, the two pieces of the mold uh, from sticking together, I will be using a bit of talc uh, that I'll just uh, put on like this, and I'll grab a brush that is supposed to be right here, right there, and I'll just brush the, the side and the lure with the with the talc here, uh, making sure that uh, every part is covered. So. I'll just um, get rid of the the extra, and as you can see here on the back, the the back side is quite fine and uh, completely smooth, and uh, I can handle the while in 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 the in the frames here. I can easily handle the the mold here. So now I'll get on with the with the second part. Of the of the mold, so once again I'll just if you've used the the mold uh, the sand before, make sure that uh, there are no big lumps in it uh, that will prevent you from getting a a good contact uh, with the with the master. So I'll just to start with I'll just pack it easily with the fingers like before making sure that I get it pressed down the sides of the the master here Okay, then I can fill it up even further, and I would like to go it all the way up to the uh, to the edge here of the of the frame. So I'll just pack it in here and compress it as much as possible. The sand can be used as uh, as many times as you would like. 
it doesn't uh, seem to uh, get take any damage or anything. Uh, so it's just a question on uh, how uh, tidy you are and get everything uh, back up in your storage. Okay, so now we are getting a bit above the edge and once again I'll start using my stick here to mash it down. Just be careful not to damage your master because you would want it to use it for a silicone mold if you're satisfied with the, the lure. Okay, so now uh, now the mold is nice and uh, packed, and I will just uh, take off what's above the edge here to get a nice flat side. As that will help me later. So. Just well, now uh, I can take off the clamps here, remove the, the frame like that, and uh, at this point where you've removed the, the mold from the frame, uh, you have to be very careful with it because it can easily uh, take uh, damage uh, or break. So I'll just very gently try to open it along the, the line of the talc here. So, like that, okay. I'll just lay it down here. And as you can see, it really has a nice imprint and I can carefully, carefully remove the, the, the master, like that. And, um, well, it's a real nice uh, complete uh, imprint of the the master here and now i need to make the funnel uh, to pour in the the silicone and to do that i'll grab a knife and um, i think that um, i should start somewhere like here and i'll go down to here, make it a little more funnel like, like this. Okay, and um, I'll put this one aside for a second, and uh, then I'll actually sit down because um, now I will have to be very careful. So I'll just adjust the camera. And um, now it's simply a question of uh, cutting uh, out the, the funnel uh, and just uh, being uh, very careful. Well, that was the first part. I'll just take the second part.
okay and um, so far so good so now I'll just um, assemble the the, the mold and uh, stabilize it with some uh, pieces of wood and then we are ready to uh, to do the cast so I'll just carefully carefully put it together like this and I'll use my frame here and a few other pieces to stabilize it while I'm um, casting it. Like that. Um, and um, well, now it's just a question of uh, pouring in some silicone, and I'll uh, to do that. I'll put on a mask and uh, some gloves, so I won't be able to speak as much. But I'll uh, I'll do some commenting later, and uh, then we'll see how it uh, turns out. Well, the bait has now had a good uh, half hour to uh, to harden, and I'll taking it out of the the mold. Uh, you're very careful. You actually can use the 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 mold more than once, but uh, I'm sure that uh, the best result is if you get a, go ahead and create a new one. And this is uh, meant mainly for uh, for testing purposes. So. And see, it's looking very good. Um, as you can see, some of the some of the sand is getting stuck to the bait here, um, but it is easily washed off with some uh, dishwashing soap. Uh, so uh, I'll just uh, go in and uh, wash it off, and then uh, we can uh, see the result. So now I uh, I washed off all the the, the sand and I'll just uh, cut off the the funnel bit here just like I normally would with a scalpel.
like that. And then, uh, then my, my lure is, is done. And I can, uh, I can go out and have a test before I, I do my uh, silicone mold. Um, and I don't think it's looking that bad. It's a bit, uh, it's not as uh, smooth and shiny as it could be, but uh, actually quite well for, uh, for a, a quick um, test. I actually uh, already did a few of them and uh, it's able to to produce a quite consistent result if you do a, a new mold each time. Um, if you should look at the pros and cons of this, uh, it's really uh, easy to see that there's uh, mostly uh, pros. It is very easy to, to do a, a test cast of a, of, a, of a master you've made. It is uh, more or less for free. The the molding, uh, the casting sand can be used again and again, um, and um, yeah, well, it's fun. And um, the cons, of course, it would be that the 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 the, the bait is is not as uh, smooth and shiny as if you use a, a silicone mold. Uh, and uh, you can only use the the mold once or maybe twice if you are really uh, eager uh, and uh, careful but I'll say that, that more or less um, one uh, shot for each mold is, is probably the best so but I think it's a good idea so you should try it so um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, movie and uh, feel free to watch some of my other movies uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, of course uh, please uh, also visit my Facebook page uh, to see what's going on at the at the Splish Splash Studios. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again.